had no sleep last night. I was going to do a video anyway um, because I've just taken delivery of this which was recommended to me after I tried um, Val sorry after I tried Lisa Aldridge tutorial <laughs> it's gonna be interesting because I like I said I have no sleep not doing anything interesting I think I've got the post holiday blues because I had a lovely two weeks in Ireland in a really nice big bungalow um, on a farmland and I'm now back in my townhouse <laughs> and I'd rather be in a bungalow in Ireland anyway and I think I've got a bit of the blues and I think that's why I'm struggling to sleep because I slept like a baby the whole time I was in Ireland but anyway I'm digressing signing off <laughs> with eye drops so this might be a bit too warts and all I might take some of this out anyway but I'm just going to film it and see how I feel at the end of it right I'm just going to sharpen this a bit because I I don't know if they really need to, but because I used it to swatch yesterday, hopefully this thing will work and won't break it. There you go, so just make it a bit sharper. Now, I'm going to use this as an eye I'm not going to try, I don't think I will try the winged eye look, but I'll just do it. This is supposed to make and to be good on a number of eye colours, including blue. So I think it's a green, blue and hazel, maybe. I'm not sure, but I will check what it says and then maybe put it. So there are a few colours that said were good with blue eyes, but um, brown classically is good for blue eyes. This is like a reddish brown. Maybe it'll show more once I put mascara on it, I'm not sure, but at the moment I'm not sure whether it's making my eyes pop or not. Maybe it depends on the shade of blue you are. I've got quite dark grey blue eyes, I think. I'm going to do an accidental flick then. Try doing a proper flick. Yeah, it probably does work better with this actually because it's softer. Because the other one that I was using, which was a really old cold pencil, probably about 10 years old, the pencil I was using anyway. So, technology's probably moved on since then, so that maybe this will work better as a flicky one. So, I'll try it, I'll give it a go. Yeah, I think it will work better because it's softer. I think that's why I was struggling because it was an old green coal one and I think it wasn't soft enough. Because this is a bit softer, so it's probably a bit better from that point of view. So just do that thing just to make sure. Hmm. That has definitely worked better. So thanks Antonio for this recommendation. Because it has worked better as a way of doing a flicky eye than um, what I was using so I'm not sure whether that Antonia's on YouTube but I will put this onto Instagram might not put the whole thing onto Instagram but I'll put this bit in just to give her a bit of a shout out and I will I don't think I can be even bothered to put my foundation on to be honest with you because I was only doing it for this so I will just do the eyes and might put a bit of blush on or something Because I don't really need to do a full face, do I? I might just use um, highlighter. I won't bother with foundation. I've decided. I just won't bother with foundation. Because I was only do, wanting to try the eyes out anyway. But I'll put some highlighter on. I don't think I'll put that on quite the way I meant to, but never mind.
This is these are old ridges. I normally put this on top of foundation, but I'm not going to bother with foundation because I can't be bothered. I'm only doing it for the purposes of this video, really, and to test out the eyeliner. Um, and I'll put my mascara on now. This is Lisa Aldridge's um, Kitten Lash Mascara. other bra things yeah oh. just to put some brow gel on this is Technic brow, brow gel Lipstick here. So I'm going to do what Lisa Eldridge did um, on one of her videos. Just a, she uses lipstick quite a lot of blusher actually, and rather than go the whole hog with blusher and what do you call it? Runs wrong with that. I'll just use this as a blusher. That's it. I'll just get ready and then I'll be back with you in a minute. So I put velvet, um, well I didn't, I put um, Spirited Away in Lisa Aldridge's luxuriously loosened range. I'd normally put it on top of Shade and Sculpt. I don't really like it on its own. Um, so I'm, instead of that I'm going to put on top um, Velvet Intrigue which I think it's one of her sale items so i think it's going to be discontinued but because it's quite light shade i think because i've got a smaller mouth lighter shades sometimes are a bit better especially if i'm trying to go for a no makeup makeup look which this sort of is never put it on top of this before so it's making it look a bit browny but Looking a bit more browny than it would do normally, but it's pale, making it a bit paler, which is better for smaller lips, really paler for this. Unless you want to go to the trouble of a lip pencil, which I can't be bothered with. So there you go. So this was predominantly to try and wake myself up <laughs> and also to try out this um, pencil, where's it gone? Oh, the box. So I've got to do the pencil now. I'm going to clutz when I'm tired. I'm going to clutz anyway. Um, so yeah, so this is by, ooh. Is it Zoe, Zoeva? Zoeva? Um, Velvet Love. And I bought this as a baiting, well, it's partly because my friend recommended it. I was thinking of getting a Lisa Eldridge pencil, but I think her pencils are about, I think they're £26. I know it's more expensive than this anyway. This was 16 might be 24 So I went for this because it was also, 
one of my least larges because it's more of a luxury line. I always feel like I want to <coughs> buy enough products so I can have free um, delivery, which always has to be about £45, whereas this is £16. And they don't charge you any postage and packaging, so it's, which is even better, really. Um, so, yes, I would recommend this and I would try it again. And I might even, which is a lovely Lisa Aldridge, I might use this as a preference to her um, pencils. I haven't bought any her pencils yet, but I might not bother because they're a bit on the pricey side and I'm not made of money. Um, having said that, I have bought a couple of her new line because I'm part of her Emerald, which is her loyalty thing. Um, she's got a new line of liquid eyeshadow, so I bought two just to bring myself up to the amount to get the free postage and packaging, which is my thing. And um, I bought it before she released her video where she shows herself applying it, and I'm wondering if maybe I'd have been better getting lighter shades. So I've got the two darker shades because I was going by the blue-eyed models or the fair-haired models in this, and I just thought they probably look better on blue eyes. That's what I'm going by. But anyway, we'll soon find out. But I'll try be trying those when they arrive, whenever that, that might be. And anyway. Yeah, I suppose it does make my blue eyes stand out more than maybe another colour would. Um, maybe more brownie shade would have been better. But anyway. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put <laughs> some more mascara on. So Lisa Eldridge, all her products are very buildable including her mascara so that means um it puts on light layers initially so you always if you well i've got long eyelashes um that are quite thin and long so i'm going to put another layer of uh, mascara on There you go, I feel more made up now. Made up, but not made up. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that video. That sort of perked me up a bit, ready to go for my dog walk. Um, and I will see you soon. Hope you enjoy the content. Hope you enjoyed this video. Anyway, I feel a bit sleepy while I was doing it, although it has perked me up doing some makeup and talking to the video. I just feel like I'm doing something useful. And anyway, I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, if you did and you like my content, please like and subscribe. And I'm Anne-Marie. Thank you. Bye-bye.